What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Tesla. Just the day it's had, it's fell about 5%, was a lot lower than that. And we're just gonna basically break down the price action and view where I think it's heading. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here, and let's break down Tesla. Now, just looking at the overall markets today, guys, we're gonna break that down. It's been a wild ride, guys. We've been down, you know, 90, 80 points this morning during pre-market. We were down. We were up last night. We were, you know, we hit swings this morning. We opened up, pushed up, then pulled right back down. Last 30, 40 minutes during power hour, buyers showed up, brought us back from this very long wick right here, and we're basically back at where we were pushing up last night. So last night got smacked down, opened up, tried to push right back up to that, got smacked down right again, and then right back up where we started last night. So just based off what we've been doing today, not a whole lot, but what this price action was telling you is that buyers are here. Sellers tried to push price down two to three times today already, but buyers showed up. Now this, I'm not saying we're out of the woods. I'm not saying, you know, this is the start of the rally where we're heading back up to all time highs, but if you've been worrying about tech, this is convincing. It lets you know, hey, the buyers are showing up. What's our next move? Are there, are there gonna be enough where we just get smacked down by sellers like we keep doing? Or is this the move where we finally get something going? We don't know yet. Obviously, if we did, we'd be rich. But with regards to Tesla, though, it's been struggling today, guys. Typically, it follows tech. Typically, you know, when the NASDAQ's pushing up, we push up. But right out the gate, we got rejected by this resistance 645, came right back down, came right back down. And unfortunately, we've kind of just been hanging out. We hit lows, I think, of like $600, right at $600. So it didn't break $600 just because that's a psychological level. And that'd be a lot harder to break. But what we're working with right now is that we are down about $28 and you know a little less than 5%. So that is alarming to see Tesla like that, especially when you know the market is starting to recover. It's not recovering a lot. Um, there's a couple of things I'm going to be looking at for Tesla. If you're watching Tesla, obviously don't want to get in lower than this last low right here. If it does, then this whole downtrend where we've tried to break out of this whole cliff, you know, fall that we tried to break out of, all of this action right here would have been for nothing. We would still be in this downtrend. I just made a video on Neo. Check that out. I said the same thing. Neo, unfortunately, actually broke its low, and all of the action it did was for nothing because it's back in that downtrend. So Tesla definitely do not want to see that happening. If that happens, then we could potentially, you know, head lower on Tesla. Now, just based off of how the, you know, the bull show up to a certain extent, we have this wick right here. They showed up at six hundred dollars. So, at the time of this video recording, we know that at least the bulls do not want six hundred up. They don't want to give it up. Bears are not strong enough just yet to push it below it. Now, what I'm looking at for Tesla next week is the bears, the bulls have to show up, guys. The bulls really do have to show up, and we need to get past six forty-five. That now that's just a start. Ultimately, for me to feel comfortable with you know Tesla heading back up and this being the dip buy, if you want to call it that, then I I gotta see us get it past this low right here, or sorry, this high right here. If anything else is just a lower high, and then we just come right back down. So what we're working it with right now, especially on Tesla, is we need to reclaim this high right here. We need to reclaim it for me to you know boost my confidence level in Tesla. Now from its all-time highs back up here, we're still down quite a lot. But what we have to focus on is the micro and what we're looking at right now is this high right here and ultimately we want to see us get above that. So the $700 level has been giving us quite some trouble. We tried to push up to it this week, just fell off. So $700 level, quite some trouble this week. Now I know that seems like a long way to go from where we're at right now, but trust me, Tesla can cover that in a day. We saw it right here. So Tesla can easily cover $100 in a day and cover 30, 40, 50. So with regards to you know how long it's going to happen, we don't know. But I do know Tesla can cover that amount in one day. Now, just looking at the S&P 500, what a rally today, guys. S&P 500 has been showing strength. Um, and Tesla's in it now, but it's not really too much of a weight. That's why the S&P 500 has not been pulling down as much. Overall, though, Tesla next week, main focus is getting above 645 and holding above that level. Then we can have the conversation of, hey, we need to get back above this high right here to you know boost that confidence level back in Tesla. But you do not want to get below this low right here. That's why I circled it. Whatever happens, even if it just consolidates here next week and we don't do too much, it does not need to get below that low 
because if it breaks below that low, guess what? We're back in that nasty downtrend where we just fell off the cliff before. So that's our main focusing, not getting above below that and then eventually getting below that high so we can get that those buyers back in and the confidence is back in here and we're back on the bullish train. Either way, guys, thank you for being here. Appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.